we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Morning YouTube Metaverse and the world beyond I hope you're all keeping well Well, I've got a bloody done it So For a while I've had this passion, this want, this yearn to make myself a camper van because as you lot know I, I love a bit of camping but I've been that ill this winter that I sort of realised that the way my health is I'm just not fit enough for camping anymore really not from sleeping on the floor to being cold I just I'm just not fit enough to do it um, for anybody that's new to this channel um, I've got show PD got a wooden in and I've been rebuilt more times than Frankenstein uh, so I've had this this want for a while now um, to not so much can't really call it van life because at the moment I don't want to bloody live in one that's for sure but for adventures and for going away and um, I really like the idea of van life call it van life um, or the van life adventures um, for me I want it to be a little bit different because I want it to be a monkey van a monkey camper shall we say because I need the van to fit two monkey bikes in so we can head off into the distance find a beautiful place to park up get the monkey bikes out go off riding all day come back and have a nice comfortable bed to sleep in for the night where I'm nice and warm and I'm dry and then I haven't got to put it up and I haven't got to take it down so that's the plan now the budget is very small I've got to say and for a while I've watched lots of you YouTubers out there um, and a lot of the YouTube videos that come up they're like budget van build and it's like, for a while I've watched it and I've gone, if this is a budget, I can't do it. But then I realised that, do you know what? Every van build is a budget. It's, it's, there, every van build is a budget van build, whether it be a really high budget or a really small budget. They're all budget van builds because it all has a budget. So this is a shoestring budget van build, um, and it really is. Um, so I'd set myself. Um, two thousand pound is what I've got or what I had to buy a van because as you can see I'm in it and uh, I'm not gonna lie it is hard to find a decent van for that kind of money it really is spent Sunday a couple of weeks ago just trawling all sorts of places I went to this one place and it was shocking what what they were selling for the money was just unreal and I was amazed at how many couples were there actually looking for vans to do the same as what I'm doing but you know some of them are actually doing it because they need to live in it um, because the way the world and the way it is in this country at the moment that you know they're going to be homeless and, and for them the cheapest option is to live in a van uh, but maybe that's what's pushed the prices up I don't know but to find uh, a, a good van for £2,000 is, I'm not going to say impossible because I found one and uh, I only found it, I've been out with a, a really good friend of mine, Mr Cook or Cookie as we call him and he is salt of the earth, he really is and what, what he don't know about vans ain't worth knowing to be fair and we've been out all day looking at piles of crap and just I give up, I, I got disheartened and I was, I was feeling a little bit down and in that evening I've, I've snuggled up on the, I'm in my recliner with the chows I've got Buddy and Aggie, we're all snuggled up, I'm in my gym jams and he gets me a ring and he says you need to buy this van now don't even quit with the price, just buy the van off the man and I'm like, I'm in my jammers and he's like, I don't care, I'm telling you, buy this van so anyway, I'm home bloke up and I said to him, I'll buy your van, I'm coming to get it tomorrow don't sell it again, deposit 
didn't want to deposit. The next day I rode the monkey bike there and I picked it up. And I gave the man £1,200 for it. And he did say to me, the reason it wasn't cheap was uh, pretty much the clutch was on its way out. Um, but apart from that, he's been a good fan. I drove it home and yeah, so you know, the clutch had gone. But I gave him £1,200 for it. It's a 2008 Fiat Ducato, uh, 2.3. And I'd spent another £1,000 easily on this van since buying it. And that's, I've had the cam belt done, the water pump, and I put a new, um, new pulley system and um, belt on it and it's also had a new clutch but it's done 112,000 miles and you know what now I spent that for me it should do another 112,000 miles no problem so it's a really good base to work on the van's quite tidy it's an ex-carpenter's van uh, but I really did fall lucky on it I really did because believe me like I say I've looked at a lot of crap um, and she does, she drives lovely, bloody lovely she is. So, monkey van, camper van project, here we go. Wow, as you can see, it's a mighty fine van. I gotta say, I am uh, very happy with her. It's been a long, long journey to find this van for the budget that we've got in the way. And, uh, God, we looked at some crap. Uh, it's been here, there, everywhere. And like I say, our budget is very small. But yeah, I think she will make a mighty fine camper. So we've already bought the kitchen. Like I say, it's definitely a shoestring budget. And uh, this is a sideboard that we just found on Facebook Marketplace, picked it up today on the way back. And uh, that was 40 quid. I've got a double bed frame that so should uh, make a nice double bed in the back of this van and uh, yeah I mean she is a rough diamond this is for sure she's got a few electrics in obviously this all needs to be stripped back there is a lot of work to do and a lot of work with a very small budget I mean I've seen lots of videos of, uh, of people saying this is a budget build and I mean, they're all budget builds. We've all got a budget. <laughs> this is a shoestring budget. And uh, it's something that I wanted to do for quite a while now. I mean, the idea of van life is amazing. It's something that at the moment, I'm not gonna be able to do full van time life. Um, you know, I've still got two kids living at home. I've got four dogs, but somewhere in the future maybe. But as for now, this is just something else to have an adventure. So this is gonna be the monkey bike camper van. <laughs> and this is gonna be the layout. So a nice high fixed double bed. About this height, two monkey bikes. In the back, I want the bed to lift up on a hinge so I can get good access into the garage. So we have our kitchen. I've not decided whether it's going on this side or this side. As of yet, I might have a move around in a bit. Uh, this racking's got to come out. That was in the van when I bought it. Quite like the idea of keeping the bulkhead and keeping the, the cab separate. Um, I would like to put a hatch in the bulkhead so we can see through. And it's another emergency uh, exit. If you watch Love Sundays, he got locked in his van. The cable tied him in. It's all got to be insulated. It's got a good floor in it. And I'm not sure what to do about this floor yet because it is a really good floor. And like I say, if I had the, 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 a bigger budget, then I would be looking at lifting the floor, getting rid of it, insulating it. Um, but I would say when this floor was put in, it's a non-slip floor, it'd be lovely in the garage, nice bit of lino to cover the living area a bit. And, and uh, yeah, so this is it. We're finally gonna do the monkey camper van that I've wanted for a few years now. And it's thanks to a lot of YouTubers that I watch um, have inspired me. Do you know what? Maybe I don't need the biggest budget in the world. And that's just an excuse not to actually do something. We'll see how that goes. Um, I know a lot of you, you've joined our channel because, you know, you like motorbikes and you like camping and you like adventures that myself and Buddy get on. And that's not going to change. 
Um, the idea is that, you know, we can drive somewhere like Wales, find a beautiful spot in the middle of nowhere to park up, take the monkey bikes out of the back, go off and do some riding. And uh, what it means is I don't have to sleep in a tent no more because I'm not going to lie. I've got to that age now where, you know, I love camping. I just don't love the setting up of it. I don't love the crawling in and out of a tent. I've even tried, obviously, as you saw last year, where we bought a bigger tent um, that I can stand up in. And that just means more work setting it up. So I think we will still do um, the odd bit of camping through the summer if we're out on the big bikes. Um, I might even get a trailer yet to put the big bikes on, but predominantly this van is going to be about the monkey bikes. And uh, we can go anywhere around the country, we go anywhere around Europe really. And once we're parked up, we can go off and have our adventures on the monkeys because we all love the monkeys. Everybody should have a monkey bike in their life, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm really excited about this project, I really am. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Follow future videos and updates for the subscribers that have stuck with us. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Until the next time, live your best life. Live your best life! <laughs>